Okay, we w I will talk about how to add in two points on the elliptical curve, right? In the elliptic curve. The elliptic curve is the difference between a square function and a cubic function equal to some constant. So we can say that the elliptic curve is equal to something like this, okay? Where c probably is a line, at x plus b, right? So we can conclude, well, we maybe have something like plus a x plus b. Now, Mordell's theorem, uh, it says that we can, um, if we have a, this function of degree 3, and I will intersect with another line of degree 1, I will have three rational roots, three intersections. OK, let's go see how it's going to look. All right. So I have, I have found something like this, which is the difference between a cubic and a square function. Now I have the negative part, the negative part, because, uh, because it's, a, it's this one, so this is the plus and minus square root. So this is my negative part, this is my positive part. Now suppose that I have one rational point P and another rational point Q. If I draw a line connecting these two points, I will meet at this third point, which is the elliptic uh, curve arithmetic. If I, from here, I will extend this to cross this point, which is going to be my point at infinity, and it's going to go in this direction, right? So I get this reflection. This reflection will be my P plus Q. So if this point and these points are rational, then this point is rational, and this point is rational, OK? Now, the point at infinity, uh, it means like this part of the, of, the, of the curve, it will behave like a line, like a vertical line. As, as long as it grows, 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 after this inflection point, the, the slope will be forever increasing. So it will behave, it will behave like a vertical line. So the vertical line will have a slope of infinity, okay? Okay, I will back to that one. This is adding used to points. Now, suppose like I wanted to add a point to itself. So I'm just going to delete this. And this is the other case, because usually we have two cases. Uh, the case adding two rational points, and the case of adding um, a point to itself. So in that case, so I'm back to the same. So this is, suppose that this is the line. Um, I get rid of this, and I get rid of this, OK? Now, if I have one point, which is P, and I wanted to add this point to itself, I will draw a tangent line at this point, right? It crosses right here. I extend that line here to the point of infinity, and then I reflect it, right? And this will be my P plus P. Mm -hmm. Then here is the this operation. Okay. Now this is adding two points to the elliptic curve. But the, there is something like we need to prove about the points. We need to know if the points are part of the group. For a, for for be a group, we need to satisfy specific conditions. We wanted to make sure the operation is enclosed under associativity then we have the existence of the identity, and then we have the existence of the inverse. And suppose like this. Suppose this is a point, point P, and then I wanted to add to this point, point to the infinity. That means like I will go all the way until to infinity, right? But infinity, infinity is like if I'm doing this, right? Here is where I start, and here is the infinity. So it's like, if I take something and I bundle together, so that's the point of the infinity. So eventually, going, going, going all the way here, I will back to here, right? So if I have P, P plus infinity point, what I will get? Well, I will get this. This is P. The reflection of this is this. And if I take the reflection back, I will take P. So P plus infinity is equal to P which make infinity to be our identity. This is the identity. Now, if identity exists, then the inverse exists. And we need to prove why the inverse exists. But this is adding, 
um, the identity. So for the group theory, for a group theory, right, we need to have existence of identity, existence, existences of the inverse, and it has to be enclosed under associativity. And then the, the other law is like it has to be a billion group. But I will I will I will talk in that one the next one. Thank you.